What's cracking, y'all? It's me, Kanye, but I also go by Conificent or the Con Man. For those of you who may or may not know of me out there, before I continue with this video today, viewer discretion is advised. This is just for social media and entertainment purposes only, based off of public opinion of one's perspective and point of views, not facts. I repeat, not facts at all. Hey, look, I know you guys probably wondering why I'm wearing this raincoat. Look, I got caught up out there in the middle of a storm right now in the city that I'm currently living in right now. So, y'all, please forgive me, y'all, if I'm looking kind of a little weird in this video, for say. Hey, but, you know... It is what it is, y'all. But I was just recently coming across this uh, short form video reel on Facebook. Uh, it was this uh, YouTuber or podcast person by the name of Chris Perry. I'm looking down at my phone to see if I'm correct on this. And his caption says, the more bills a woman pays by herself, the less attractive men become. Look. I understand the caption. I understand what he was trying to go to, like, because he understands social media. He understands oh, what niche he can pick or the captions that he can type out with his, along with his social media team and his podcast team to get people attentions drawn to the video, to get more, you know, likes, views, shares, and follows and plays per view or Pay per view in terms of his monetization. It's a good marketing and social media uh, scheme that he pulled off with this topic. But, hey, I got to be realistic with most of you women out here, as well as men too. You got to think. And I'm looking down at my uh, phone too, because I typed something out about this. I said this recently, y'all. No matter how many bills she pays, how so-called strong or independent she can be. A woman can never be masculine or have masculine energy, no matter what society has programmed her into believing. And second of all, paying bills, rent, and taxes are a legal form of extortion enforced by the government, which they do not care if you're a man or a woman. And that's true. It's the reality. The government don't care if you're a woman out here. And women, let's be realistic. You were paying bills by yourself before you met a man. You're going to keep continuing to pay bills after you leave a man. Vice versa. As a man, you was paying bills before you met that woman. You're going to keep continuing to pay bills, property taxes, or rent, or any form of, any form of legal fee after you leave that woman. Bottom line, whether that's a marriage, a situationship, or a relationship, or whether you two were just dating and, you know, you know what I'm saying, y'all was, you know what I'm saying, doing the nasty, if, 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 I, if, I, if you would like to call it. But let's keep it real. This type of I, this type of video right here, like, stuff like this, I understand where he was going with this, though, but, but we always, I always try to tell people, I always try to bring people back down to a state of reality, man. We're all being legally distorted on every 30 days. I've talked about videos like this, but my videos, when I ever talk about paying bills and any type of uh, legal fee or I would say um, rent or property taxes, they always tend to shadow ban me on these types of uh, subjects. Every time, it never fails. I get less views. I even I can't even even run ads or even market and promote this type of uh, content whenever I talk about being legally extorted via paying bills, uh, rent, and taxes. I always get I always get shadow banned by social media platforms like TikTok, YouTube. They always saying I violated some type of guidelines or something like that because they know what I be saying is actual is the actual truth within the videos that I be talking about. And they don't want to give me the credit that I deserve for that or they don't want me to run ads or get paid ads to uh stream these types of uh videos or type of type or type of content to you guys. That's why. But as but for me it just that what he was saying just didn't make sense to me, man. 
because you got to understand, y'all, we all being legally gypped and pimped and extorted, and women really think that she's in her masculine energy whenever she has to pay bills by herself. Like, that's not masculinity, man, like, for real. We all are being... We all being screwed over in some type of form or fashion. Like, that don't make you uh, masculine because you got to pay bills every 30 days. Like, oh, girl, man, let me tell you something. We all being legally pimped and gypped. That go for all of the women out there who's watching this video. So please do not take this video to, as personal. Don't take offense to it. I'm just letting you guys know, as well as the gentlemen out there who are like this guy that I'm looking down on at my phone called Chris Perry, who got that kind of somewhat of a sucker and simpish kind of mentality and not understanding. I, I get where he was going with the social media scheme in terms of make, talking about this topic, but you got to think, we all going to have to pay bills. That's one thing we cannot escape as both men and gentlemen because of the system that they have created, which is the man, a.k.a. the government, is death, bills, and taxes. That's something that we can't escape, man, unfortunately. The only way you're going to escape that, unless you are homeless or you're living off of the land, ladies or gentlemen, young people, older people, senior citizens, anyone who's out there watching this video right now, that's something that we cannot escape. The only way you're going to escape that, unless, you be, unless you're able to break away from the matrix, such as being homeless, which is, they're really not homeless for real. They're actually free, to be truthful with you. Homeless people and people who live off the land are the most freest people on this earth. And and I hope women, y'all, I hope y'all take notes to what I'm saying within this video, man, for real, because I, I get it. You know a lot of women going to defend this type of stuff. They feel like, I, if I'm paying bills by myself, that makes me independent, man. Look, I don't care what nobody say. We as men and women, we both need each other. I'll never say the more bills I pay by myself, the less attractive women become to me. Yeah, right. I'll never walk around with that mentality saying I don't need a woman in my life. I just don't need the wrong women in my life or the wrong woman in my life. That same thing go for you uh, women, too. Just because you pay all the bills and you've been having all this weight on your shoulders or this burden that you carry on your shoulders for so long, that don't mean you don't need a man in your life. you just attracting the wrong men, which I talked about in a, few, in a few videos of mine about how some women attract the norm, the end over responsible men. I can't say the, the full N word on here because they'll try to censor me or they'll try to flag this video, so I, I would say ninjas. They choose ninjas over responsible slash real men out here, unfortunately. But what I'm trying to say is I never walk around here with that mentality saying I don't need a woman in my life. Man, I, I, I just yearn for a woman who's understanding, very submissive. And you know, but you, you got to think at the end of the day, for a woman to be submissive, that's, that's a choice. And women nowadays choose to be submissive to guys who just, they know they see the signs. They, they see that the dude really ain't nothing for real. He's not even a trying man. See, I can respect a man or a woman who tries and brings forth her effort and who want to build, build something with me. I respect a woman who tries, man. And I think women should do the same thing because you got to think, you're not going to run into every you're not going to run into a millionaire for an average ordinary woman that's watching this video you're not going to run into a millionaire dude man you're going to run into an average ordinary dude making between i'm gonna say five thousand and forty five thousand dollars a year man you got to start understanding your state of reality and understand where you are at personally because at the end of the day it don't matter how much money or how many bills that man is paying to your house if that man don't treat you right or he don't respect you, he don't honor you, he don't cherish you, it means absolutely nothing. That's like that's like if a woman helping me pay all the bills, she got her own, but she treating me like I'm a piece of crap, it means nothing to me. She's disrespectful, she try to cheat on me, she try to creep up on me, it means absolutely nothing. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Y'all take care and be easy.